Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add scrolling text in Premiere Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description so you can download that same video content. Let's open up Premiere Pro and drag and drop that video clip into the project here and we'll drag and drop it onto the timeline. It's quite a short video clip so I'm just going to drag a second copy. So we'll just drag another one and snap it to the end here and we'll click on it, right click and it will go to speed and duration here and we'll set it to reverse. So now we just got a reverse of the video clip so it will just play back in the opposite direction. So we want to add some scrolling text. So think about it when you go and watch a film in the cinema or wherever you might watch a film, you have like these scrolling credits at the end and that's what we want to try and create at the end of this video clip. So let's press the end key on our keyboard the END, end key, and that takes us right to the end of the timeline. We're gonna go up to Windows and we're gonna to go to Workspaces and click Graphics here. When we click on Graphics, we have these different tools and options, and the tool that we wanna use is Text Tool. But before we do that, I'm just gonna open up the folder, go into this text file and copy this content. So you just wanna prepare some text, some scrolling credit text that you can just cut and paste in as well. And we'll minimize this and we'll click on the text tool and click inside the canvas here. And then I'm going to press control V just to paste that content. Now, obviously it's a bit offline. You can't really see the text properly. So what we can do is click on this tool here that vertically centers it. And then we'll click on this tool here to horizont horizontally center it as well. We won't worry about the font size, but if you want to change the font type, you can click on the drop down and change the font type. You can add fills and strokes and do whatever you want in here. So just adjust the font accordingly. You can set it to uppercase if you want it to be all uppercase. But I'm going to leave the font like this. I think it looks good. And I'm going to click in the blank space here on the side. It's important that you click in the blank space because then you'll see some other tool options here. And we're going to click the roll option here. When we click roll option, now if we scrub across our timeline, we can see that the text object is here. And when we scrub across, it starts to show the text and it will work out the duration that it needs to display the text from the very beginning to the very end. And if we were to click the play button here, you can see it's a little bit jerky. It isn't really, really that clean. So let's just zoom out here. We'll hold down the Alt key and use the mouse wheel to zoom out. And we want to stretch out this duration. So let's just click on it and drag it out to around 30 here. Let's see around, let's, let's set it to around 17 seconds. So around 13 here. So let's now, let's now go back and click play and you'll see it'll play out a lot smoother and it's easier to read and so forth. Now, if you just want to adjust the um, size of the fonts in here, there's a couple of ways to do that. You can either edit the text itself or you can in fact um, use the tool here to just zoom in and out, right? So you can zoom in and zoom out. So if you want it to be quite small like this, and then Premiere Pro using its magic will adjust it so that it fits across the timeline and runs smoothly, right? So it's set to 50%. I think 100 was good. You want it to be nice and legible. So let's set it to 100. If we go back to the video clip and click play, we can see that it kind of jump cuts straight to the credits. So it's, that's not so nice. So let's click here. Let's go back to the Windows workspace and all panels. So that takes us back to our original layout. That's what we want. We'll click on transitions here and we'll click on cross dissolve and drag that to the very end here. And in fact, we can go to the very beginning and drag the cross dissolve at the very beginning. So if we go back now and click play, we can see our little video clip sequence here and it will get towards the middle and then it's going to reverse that video clip because we dragged it on twice and so that's doing the opposite transition. So it's moving in the opposite direction and then we should see a nice little fade out and then our video credits at the end and you can just drag and drop audio or do whatever you like after that. So that's how you add these rolling credits towards the end of your video clip. I hope you find that useful. Let's minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got over 600 video tutorials on my YouTube channel. So feel free to go and check some of those out.